Would you like to wow your clients in your gym? Do you want to keep them longer, twice as long, three times as long? Would you like to get them better results, ultimately have raving fans who refer people to you constantly, and people telling everyone, leaving you reviews, just literally handing you testimonials and user-generated content about your facility, and it spreads like wildfire? If that is what you want, and you don't currently have that, let me introduce you to the 90-day client journey. Excuse the scribbles, but this is the 90-day client journey that we have used and discovered over the past six years, working with over 4,500 different gyms here at Gym Launch, and and this is what helps us be able to cut clients' attrition rates in half after utilizing this. So this is one piece of the puzzle, and let me walk you through it. My name is Kale Owen. I am the CEO here at Gym Launch and Prestige Labs. My goal and our entire goal here at Gym Launch is to help gym owners reach more people, change more lives, and stack a whole bunch of cash. So let's dive into this. So the 90-day client journey. What happens is most gyms that we've talked to very rarely have an actual systematic process for onboarding clients past really just their intro class or first week. Very few people have it written out in a way that's sustainable, repeatable, and actually works. And we have tested this multiple different ways. And this is by far the best 90-day client journey that we have that leads them from sign up all the way to an upsell opportunity into a higher level of service. Okay, so let's walk through this. If you like this, by the way, and you want to see the written outline of how this works and you want to get more information like this along with 29 other frameworks and diagrams, there's a link down in the description of this video. You can get it for free just by trading your email address. We'll send it over to you. I promise I won't spam you. So 90 day client journey, day one, they sign up, right? So day two, they should get a welcome card. So a handwritten card from the team or the owner. Okay. You can also send a video day eight. So after their first week, they should get a call to check in how was your first week. So you should be checking in with them and actually creating a relationship. So someone on your team should reach out to them. Day 15, so now we're two weeks in, you should give them a Facebook group shout out. So now we're talking about status and we're recognizing them for being consistent and coming into the gym. A week later, this is where typically for our clients, they do their conversion meetings. So most of our clients use a six week challenge and at the halfway point, day 21, this is where they meet with them as a check-in and then convert them into continuity using the upsell downsell method and irresistible offers that we've created for them, okay? So this is where you do it. Day 22, the day after, when they become a member and they sign up for long-term memberships, you wanna make a public shout out on Facebook. So anytime you have a member, period, whether it's day 22, whenever, do a public shout out on your public business page on Facebook to like give them a shout out, have them share it, tag them in it and be like welcoming the newest member to our community. So excited, blah, blah, blah. Day 42, if you're running a six week challenge, final way out right here. So this is where you're doing a final way out and you're grabbing their after pictures. So when you sign them up, if you sign them up for any sort of challenge or front end defined program, you should always get before pictures and after pictures. This is where you do a final way out, grab after pictures that you can use for testimonials and grab reviews. Since they became a member, the next day you're gonna send them a swag box. So by now they would have already gotten a t-shirt or something when they first signed up. Up. Now you're going to send them a really cool swag box, something different. It could be a different t-shirt, like a member only t-shirt. It could be a hat. It could be um, a water bottle, whatever it might be, or a combination of all of it. Send them a swag box. Okay. And then day 55. So we're going to fast forward. You're going to do another check-in meeting with them. So you want to check in, see where they're at. How are they doing? What's their progress like? Make sure that they're on pace to hit their goals and that they're enjoying the service. Day 59, you're going to send a personal gift. So this should be personal to them. No more than $20. It doesn't have to be super extravagant, but what it should be is personal to them. What are they interested in all this stuff? An example of this would be at our gym. We gave someone a very simple keychain to Disney World. I was in Florida. We live in, our gym was in Florida. They love Disney, like love Disney. And so we sent it to them. It cost us, I don't know, five bucks, 10 bucks. And it blew them away. They loved it. They had it on their keychain. They couldn't stop talking about it. They absolutely loved it. And it didn't cost us much, but it was something that built the relationship and let them know that we're listening to them and that we truly understand them. Then day 68, check and call, call them, check in. Hey, what's up, Susie? Just checking in. Just want to see how you're doing. Anything we can do better? Great. How's how has been the last week of classes for you? Cool. Awesome. So you can just check in and see how they're doing. Just pick up the phone and doubt. I'm telling you, it will change the way your clients look at you and perceived value will go up because you're spending more time with them. All right. Then day 85, this is where we have our clients do an upsell meeting. So anywhere between day 85 and day 90, they're going to meet with them and they're going to upsell them from large group into semi-privates or private training or even hybrid. So they're going to reassess where they're at in the first 90 days, where they're at with their goals, and then suggest something else, a higher level of service, if it fits what they need. And it's something that would align with what's best for the client client, then they'll upsell them into a higher level of service. So they go from paying $49 a week to potentially $149 a week, and they just move them into a 12 month agreement on that. And then day 90 is get a testimonial. So this is where you can get a video testimonial. You can do it in a meeting. You can do it right after class. You can ask them if they're really cool. You can do a selfie video where they can just send it to you and you can walk them through and give them an example of what you're looking for. So you can train them. And this is where if you follow this 90 day client journey, then you are going to set yourself up to wow your clients consistently so that not only do they become 
become raving fans, but they'll stay longer and they'll refer a whole bunch of people to you, okay? So if you find this valuable, I appreciate it. You can get more of this stuff by clicking the link in the description for free. You can download the entire seven money models that we use to scale gyms to over $100,000 a month that our clients pay us $40,000 or more per year to get access to, and you can get it for free. Also, if you like this, you wanna hear more about this stuff, click the subscribe button, hit that, and um, hit that like and drop a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'll see you on the next video.